Hello, my name is Andrew from i4 Automation. Today I'm going to give you a short demonstration of Unitronics PLC and virtual HMI. To do that, I've got a VNC viewer, HMI, and I'm also going to show you how to connect it to an app on an iPhone. So first off, what you want to see is the PLC. Now we call these a brick type PLC because they look like a brick. So what's in the box? Pretty much all you need. You've got your inputs and outputs, your terminals, and your 24 volt DC connection. In the top, you've got two Ethernet ports, so you've got Ethernet in, Ethernet out, USB port, a little button here to confirm your downloads, and your plug here for your inputs. At the bottom, you've got 24 volt DC connection for the power supply, your outputs connection, and a little sleeve there to protect your battery to stop the battery running down and trapped it. Now we can have communication modules on the left hand side. We can have 232, 485 or CAN bus, depending on the processor. On the right hand side we can add extra I.O. Again, this is processor dependent. It's the standard Unistream I.O. Just clips in here and we can add different modules, different I.O. as I said, depending on the processor. But we can have quite a lot of I.O. in here and we can also network it. So for this demonstration, so I'm just going to show you a HMI. So the HMI this is a little five inch VNC connection. What comes with it? Well, we've got a little gasket here for the IP rating. We've got some clips to retain it and the 24 volt DC connection. Same plug as on the other units, it's nice and simple. So to connect this up, what we'll do first of all is just take a standard Ethernet cable. Plug that in the top there. Plug in our HMI. We need some power. Luckily, we've got a couple of power cables here. Power my connection. And I'm going to power up my PLC. Just pop this on the DIN rail out of the way. Right, so we've got the connection, we've got the Ethernet going into the VNC viewer. This is just a client VNC. Now this will reconnect, as you'll see the PLC is not in run mode yet. So it's the HMI is connected quicker or powered up quicker. It will keep trying every five seconds or we can just put cancel. Wait for the light to turn green. Okay, the light's gone green. We can now connect. It goes into demonstration mode. So the two units are talking to each other. Yes, the IP address has all been pre-configured. So if we go into demonstration mode, we can see we've got a very little, uh, little demonstration here. Which we can start putting it to run. We're going to fill the tank up. We're going to fill the bottles up. Each time it fills up, we're going to turn, trigger an output to come on the PLC. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but zero, output zero just comes on and off there as the bottle fills up. We can also control some of the I.O. We can manually force the I.O. So we've got here, we can trigger the outputs on, we can turn them off. Quite a simple demonstration. Now one of the nice things about the VNC viewer is we can have multiple connections. So I've got an iPhone here, I can connect my iPhone and we can connect to that. To do that, we just need to connect to the Ethernet and give ourselves a Wi-Fi connection. So I'm going to plug this in the Spur Ethernet plug. I'm going to take power from the USB. So this is going to take a few seconds just to power up. So once the green light's on, that's powered. For the TP link and the Wi-Fi signal. So on the iPhone, what I need to do is go into my settings. And what I'm going to do is a one-to-one -one connection on Wi-Fi between my phone and the TP link module. So we've got the TP link module there, we've got a nice strong signal as you'd expect. And I'm going to put join network. Maybe a little bit too hasty there to connect onto it. So I'll try it again. Third time lucky. Okay, so we connected to the TP link. I was just being a bit hasty there in terms of trying to connect to it. Now what I'm going to do is use a VNC viewer. I've got a shortcut to one that I've been used in the past. I've pre-configured the IP addresses. You can also run a VNC viewer on a laptop or a PC remotely and connect to it. It's just a matter of putting the IP address in and connect to the relevant network. So, 
Now what I've got is the same screen, same connection, <coughs> and I can control the same process. So at the moment the process is running automatically. I can stop the process. I can start the process. I can go back to the main screen and I can control the I.O. So I can turn the outputs on. I can turn the outputs off. This is the nice thing about the VNC, you can have the, the display anywhere. You could have it on a Wi-Fi connection as I've got it. As you walk up to the machine, you switch on your smart device, your laptop, and you connect to it to see what's going on. Um, that can be used from some applications. Other applications, you might need multiple screens. But as I said, it's just a quick demonstration to show you the nuts and bolts, the basics of the connectivity of the PLC with the virtual HMI. Thank you.